Hello YouTube, so this was the box, well the contents inside of the box uh, that I was excited to share with you guys. Unfortunately I recorded the video of me unboxing everything and it turned out to be too long. I didn't like it because I kept having to take the cases out of the plastic wrap and it ended up being around a 30 minute video. So I wanted to re-record it and also include all the, well basically the complete series. As you guys can see, I'm excited to share that I collected the entire Monogatari series. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just decided to go ahead and purchase them. I want to collect them anyways. So I just decided to one day just take the plunge and purchase the rest of the ones that I hadn't purchased yet. Um, so let's, so yeah, I mean, I've separated them into their different seasons. Uh, the ones up top here is the first season. Uh, the one in the middle, this technically is only the second season. So this box set really does include the, the whole second season. And this one I actually shared in a in a re, in an other unboxing or pickups video that I had. Uh, so I actually no longer need this one since it is included in here, as you guys can see. Neko Monogatari is included as part of this box set. Uh, what? Well, technically this is Neko Monogatari White. Uh, it's part of the second season. Neko Monogatari Black, which is over here, is part of the first season. Uh, so if you guys are interested, I will be posting this one for sale on my Mercari account. Uh, I'll put a link to my Mercari shop below in the link, just as I usually do. Uh, so if you guys are interested in this, uh, yeah, let me know. So that's the second season here. And then down here is the rest of the third season. So I think, I'm pretty sure I have the complete series now. Um, but if I am missing anything, let me know. Uh, I hope I have everything because, yeah, I basically purchased everything that was on right, that was available on right stuff for Monogatari. And it turned out to include the entire set. Uh, so all right, let's take a closer look at these. Uh, let's focus in on the first season. All right, so I've brought everything from the first season down here. Uh, so you guys can take a closer look at everything. Uh, so this is the first season. You guys saw me unbox this a while back. Uh, I, per I did purchase this one on eBay, so it, it came in a little bit uh, damaged, but I did get it for a much cheaper price. Uh, so I was still pretty happy about it. And I've already unboxed this one, so I won't show this one off anymore. I'll just show off the new ones that I did purchase. Um, but yeah, that was the first season. Then this is Nisen Monogatari. So I am, I'm gonna show you guys these in the order that it suggested that you watch them. So this is how I'll be watching them. Uh, so the second one you would watch is Nisen Monogatari. Again, I've already unboxed this one. And this one, I think I also purchased on Mercari. Uh, but yeah. So I think I mentioned in those videos that I didn't really like these two box sets just because it's just a plain box. And then it came with the blue Blu-ray cases, which I'm not too a fan of. I prefer the, the white ones, ones, which the second season, uh, Monogatari, the second season actually does include them as white, but I'll show you guys those in a bit. And then the next one you would watch would be this Neko Monogatari Black. So this is a new one that I just got in. Uh, so I will show the contents of this box. Here's the spine. Here's the back. And so this one's pink. And I do like the, the way that all these smaller box sets look. They all have a different color. So on the shelf, they look really nice. Um, but unfortunately it won't really match up with these bigger box sets, but all the smaller ones look nice next to each other. Anyways, let's see what's in here. So we have some art cards, um, an art booklet and the Blu-ray case. So the Blu-ray case is a standard um, blue case again. I wish, I wish it would be a white one, but that's fine. Here's the discs. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly just because Again, I've already recorded this once and it turned out to be a really long video. So I kind of want to avoid 
recording a 30 minute long video. Uh, but yeah, that's the Blu-ray case. Here's the booklet. So this is the first time this cat girl shows up. I noticed she comes up a lot in some of the later box sets when I did the first video. And then here's the art cards. All right, so I completely destroyed this little wrapper, so I'm just gonna put these back without this wrapper. And for the rest of these sets, I'll make sure to prepare and take them off ahead of time. Uh, so here's the first art card. And I have no idea who any of these characters are, but the art cards look pretty nice. I do like all the art cards that come with all these sets. All right, so that's Neko Monogatari Black, which is weird. It doesn't have much black anywhere. <laughs> I would have think, I mean, it would have been I don't know, just in my opinion, there should have been some more black somewhere. And then Kizu Monogatari, these are all, as far as I understand it, I think these are all one part of the set, but for some reason they come split up into different parts. And they're all pretty short. I think they're each like um, 63 minutes. So they're all about a movie or an hour long. Whereas one of these, it's about 107 minutes, so. I guess the three of these combined is longer than one of these sets. But anyways, um, I've already showed off Kizu Monogatari, so I won't do that again. I'm gonna put these aside, so I'm gonna put this one down. Kizu Monogatari Part 2, this is the new one that I picked up. And again, I know I mentioned when I unboxed this guy that I actually really liked the, the outer case that they used. Um, initially, when I bought this one, on right stuff, they only have this image out on front. So it was a nice surprise when I got it with this box here. And I think it's the same thing with these. Um, yeah. So when you look on right stuff, you'll see this case uh, when you go to buy it. But they all come with this nice uh, outer box. So how long is this one? Let's take a quick look. Where is it? So yeah, another 68 minutes. All right, so firstly, let's go over this Blu-ray case. So this one is one of the clear cases that, that I like. And the art here in the front looks really nice. She's Looks like she's walking through a thunderstorm or something. Not sure what she's doing with her hand. I guess she's just holding her hair. Her hands look a little funny there. I wonder what, maybe she's a vampire. <laughs> I know this one kind of, when I remember, I remember unboxing it, it looked like this set dealt with a bunch of vampires. So maybe it is. There she is again with those hands. All right, so the discs are pretty plain. And then there's the background art. Here's the booklet. It looks like it's a, yeah, it kind of continues down like that. So yeah, it looks like this whole part of the series deals with vampires. All right, and then some art cards, I'm gonna take it out of the place really quick. All right, it's off. Uh, so I did a much better job there. This is still oof, it's functional, so I can put these back into the, the wrapper. But let's take a look at these art cards. Man, all these art cards look really nice. I'm probably gonna, I should probably display this whole uh, Monogatari series, have put its own shelf and put all the art cards around it. Probably look pretty cool. I might do that, I'll make a video on that. Oh yeah, I think that was it. I really like this this art here. 
looks pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. And the last one concluding the first season would be Kizumonogatari Part 3, Reiketsu. So again, let's take a look at the back. Oh, this one's 82 minutes, so this one's longer than the other two. What is that? That looks pretty weird. I guess it's just one of those funny animations, probably. All right, so let's see what's inside. So this lady again, I think that's the same lady as the one that's over here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Here's the back. That looks pretty nice there. And then similarly, just plain discs, the same color as the box. And then just, I guess here they're in some sort of office and the other one, it looked like they were in some sort of classroom. Um, but yeah, that is the Blu-ray case in the white case, which I like. Let's look at the art booklet. So all these kind of follow the same art style, um, sort of like a pencil, stencil type drawing in the front. And well, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> So this, this part looks really good. I'm excited to watch this. Um, I've heard really great things of this, so I'm excited to finally own everything. And finally, I just need to find the time now to watch, watch it all. All right, so let's take this case off again. All right, they're out of the wrapper. It looks like she's crying or something. But yeah, this is just the front of the Blu-ray case. I like these in the art cards. All right, that was it for the art cards. All right, now let's move on to season two. All right, so here's the second season, or Monogatari, the second, se the second season. Yep, um, and here you can actually tell that the box it actually feels a lot nicer. It's actually, it actually has sort of like a glossy look to it. Whereas the ones from the first season, they just kind of look like cardboard. They like sort of like a matte finish. Uh, so this one feels a lot nicer. I kind of like this box it a lot more. And I'm not sure what's going on with the sky up here. There's some fishes. It looks pretty cool, but I guess I'll find out once I start watching it. So this one, season two, contains 28 episodes on six Blu-ray discs. Unfortunately, it is in Japanese, so I have to read all the subtitles. Um, here's the back. All right, so let's get into the, the cases themselves. So let's start off with this one. So this one looks familiar. Uh, this is the same as this box here, but just in the Blu-ray case instead of getting an entire box for it. So, I mean, it would have been nice to have collected all the boxes for each one of these, just because uh, these are much nicer than, than these. But I know it probably was also a lot more expensive to collect these individually than just to get this box set, which includes all of them. So, so I'm, I'm not, it's all right, I'll just, Hopefully I can resell this one somewhere. Uh, but anyways, so I guess this picture here is for Neko Monogatari White. And the picture on the back is for Kabuki Monogatari. And then when you open them, it's pretty cool. Um, whatever was on the back art of the original uh, release is included in the back of there. Let's see, I wonder if the discs are the same. Let's take a look at that. Nope, they are different. So this one has two discs. 
doesn't really say anything about episodes. So I guess everything that was included in those two discs is now included in just one. And then I don't have this, I don't have this set to show you, but I'm pretty sure that would be the back of this original set. What's she eating? It looks like an apple. All right, next, this is for Hana Monogatari. Suru, Suruga Devil, Suruga Devil. Here's the disc, and then the art that was in the back of the original release. And then this is for Otori Monogatari. There's the disc, and the art that was in the back of the original release. Which this one's pretty weird, because she looks pretty young and she has a bunch of money and then booze all over the place. I guess it might be a case where the younger girl she looks young, but she's actually like hundreds of years old or something. And then the last Blu-ray case, this art here represents Oni Monogatari, Shinobu Time. And she looks familiar. She looks like one of the characters from the first season. So I guess some characters do get transferred over between seasons. Here's a disc and then the art in the back of the original release. And this one here, I remember seeing this one on eBay, really expensive. I don't know what the deal is with this one, but I think it was selling for like over 200 bucks. I don't even remember what it was. Uh, which is, that's crazy to me. If you guys know why, let me know. But for some reason, this set costs a lot. Well, what I'm talking about is if you were to buy this set uh, for this particular part, which is Koi Monogatari. I guess it must be a really popular section of the anime or something. All right, so that was everything for season two. No art cards or anything. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's for what you pay for this. I would have liked to have seen some art cards or anything, but nope. Uh, it's just the Blu-ray Blu cases and the box, the cardboard box. All right. Now let's move on to the final series, or the final season. All right, so here's what the other seasons would have looked like if I would have bought all the individual sets for, the, for those particular seasons. Uh, but as you guys can see here, it actually looks pretty nice, all the different colors. Uh, the only one that this one here kind of throws it off a little bit because it's not just a plain color. It's like some art in the back. And then same thing with this little paper that wraps around. There's nothing here, which is kind of weird. It looks a little off. But other than that, I do like how this looks on the shelf more than the bigger box sets. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. This is the first one which I think is, you're supposed to look at it like this. All right. All right, so this is the first one, part of the final season, which is Tsuki Monogatari, Yotsugi Do. Four episodes. Two disc set. We already looked at the spine and then here's the back. So again, I wonder if they would, in the future, they're somehow gonna release all of these in just an indi in one box set like they did for the second season. Um, I guess I won't have to buy that anymore because I already have these, which are much, ni much nicer. Oh man, fortunately the blue Blu-ray case. Um, so here's the Blu-ray case. Same thing as this. I would have liked to see something different, but like they did for, I think, what was it, Kizu Monogatari? But nope, they stuck with the same art. Here's the disc. And this this one looks pretty childish, actually. It looks like they're, even the box, they look like kind of like kids. And um, that looks like a playground or something. So I don't know, this, 
now that I look at it, it's kind of a lot of this. Is this just the characters when they were younger or something? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. So for those of you who have seen the series, um, what is your favorite part? The first season, the second season, or this final season? And it, I hope that I hope it's not the case where the final season is really different and not as good as the other ones. But no, oh, just let me know if you've seen it. And here's the art book. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Looks like here. I don't know why it reminded me of Finding Nemo. So let's try to find out what this is all about. Doesn't look like there's any more vampires. I don't know, maybe this one, oh, you know what? This one looks like it has to, something to do with ghosts or something. I do remember seeing something in the back of one of these that says, Oh, there it is. A ghost story must be something mysterious. So yeah, I guess this part has to do with ghosts. And now let's take a look at the art cards. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic case. All right, so even off camera, I ended up destroying this, so I won't be using that anymore. Anyways, here are the art cards. Oh, wow, this one looks really different. It looks like a 3D animation. That's cool. And then that's just these, just the front and back of the box. All right, so that's all the art cards. And I guess I'm just gonna stick these back in here like this. All right, next part is Koyo Monogatari. So this one looks, I remember her, I guess they bring her back from, from the first season. And I remember her too, so I think she's part of also the first season. If you were looking for a horror story? I wish I had one for you. So I guess it's not too scary. All right. So let's take a look at the Blu-ray case. Again, same thing, same, same art as the box. The discs look a little different actually though. Kinda like these discs. And then the back is just a bunch of locations. Oh. Okay, here's the art book. Kinda like how this purple looks. Oh, this is really different. Looks kind of like a calendar. Hmm. And then yeah, it looks like some sort of timeline. Maybe this one has something to do with time travel. And that's why they went back to these characters. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, now the art cards. Again, I'm gonna take this off camera. All right, so this one's actually pretty thick, so it includes quite a bit of art cards. Um, but they look, this one just looks kind of like character cards. Suba, Yotsuki, Suruga. Yeah, this might be all the character. All right, so moving on, the next part is Awari, Awari Monogatari, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. I guess this is similar to the Kizu Monogatari, uh, where they're, well, no, this one actually, it's much longer than that. It has two discs, and one of them is 175 minutes. So, technically, it's triple the length of the Kizu Monogatari, if the rest of these are similar times to these. Uh, but yeah, here's the front. She looks kind of freaky looking. She looks like a ghost or something. But the front of the art looks interesting. 
And in the back is just this character. Not sure who she is. And then let's take a look at the inside. Oh, don't need to take that out. So again, blue Blu-ray case. Same art in the front and same art in the back as the box. The discs are a little different. So that's weird. This, this is the same as that, but this does not look like this. Maybe it's the same character, but I'm not sure. Looks and then the back. Okay, that's weird. It looks like they're in some sort of classroom in space or something. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at the art book. Maybe it has something to do with the butterfly effect or something. Where's that girl again? It looks like the main character, but younger. I'm not sure what their names are yet, but I think that is the case. And here's that freaky looking girl. Her eyes are completely blacker. Yeah, it's a girl, right? Right here, she kind of looks like a boy, to be honest. All right, and then here are the art cards. I have opened this before. This was from the original unboxing. Uh, so maybe it'll be easy to take off. Not quite, it's still a little tough. But we got it open. All right, so again, this, this, these are kind of, it feels like a lot of art cards. So let's go through them. I don't remember seeing this. This is similar to to the other set. I don't remember which one it was, but it looks sort of like 3D animation. And this one's cool. It has a lot of little equations. I am an engineer, so some of this is pretty interesting to me. So I wonder if this one has a lot to do with math or something. She is really weird. Okay, that came out of nowhere. And that reminds me of the Cuphead game for some reason. And I think that was it. Oh no, wait. Was that it? No, I don't remember seeing these. All right, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what's on the disc art. So I guess it is the same character. Yeah, this was the original, the first one. All right, we're almost done here. I hope I managed to bring down the time a little bit. I feel like I've been recording for a while now, so we'll find out. If this one's still 30 minutes, I think at, the, at that point, I'm just gonna go ahead and post, post this one online. Awari right. Monogatari Volume 2. And then here's the back. Oh, look, looks like these characters come back. Here's the Blu ray case. The discs. And then the background art. The art book. <laughs> That's weird. They're donuts. Donut UFOs. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Reminds me of Batman Ninja. 
What is that? That looks weird. <laughs> Man, it's getting me excited to watch this. It looks so interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the art cards. I'm gonna take this off camera. Okay. Ooh, this one looks really nice. I love, well, my wife likes, loves cats and she got me into cats, so. I like cats, yeah. Okay. Seems like, I wonder if the art style is always changing on the anime itself, too. All these art cards have different art styles suddenly. All right, so that was all the art cards for volume two. Got two more sets to go through. All right, volume three. So another little girl, there's Nemo. Then here's the back. Here's that weird girl again. So it seems like she definitely has some sort of powers. Dark powers. It's really, it's really weird. This looks all kitty, all happy. And then back here is all emo and dark. Same art here. Oh, I didn't see him. He was... I guess he's being blocked off by this thing here. But yeah, now I can see the hair. There's the disc. And again, the background seems like we're in space again. Okay. Here's the art book. And the art cards. So take this off camera. Okay. So this art card looks pretty nice. <laughs> okay. She really likes her donuts. Let's take a closer look at this. There's the weird girl. There's the girls for that look familiar from the other seasons. Those might be the two main characters. It seems like we're getting to some sort of finale with this type of picture, with this picture here. Bringing back all the characters. Ooh, this one looks interesting. I like this one. All right, now we're on to the last set. And then I can go to bed. All right, so the final set is Zoku Awari Monogatari. PV and CM collections. I'm not sure what that means. If anybody knows what that means, let me know. Actually, let's take a look at this. What do these say? I never even, I didn't even read these. PV and CM collections. Huh. Probably should have showed you guys this at the beginning of every opening each one of these up. So it includes a deluxe booklet, pinup postcard set, and some illustrations. Then here's the back. There's that butterfly again. She doesn't look familiar. And then, okay, finally, this one has a clear case. I think all of these had, had yeah, these all had blue cases. Why didn't they just use the clear case for all of these? That's kind of weird. Blue, blue. Yep, these all have the blue Blu-ray case. Uh, but then for the final one, they decided to use the blue Blu-ray case. All right, anyways, so that's the same. 
Ah, again, I missed him. Didn't see him. Here is the disc. And then there's the back. So, I want to take a look at this again. So disc one, disc two, approximately 160 minutes. Okay. All right, so this booklet is really different from all the rest of them. Um, oh, it, evens open. It, evens op it even opens up different. How am I supposed to open this? I think it's like this. Zoku Owori Monogatari Kiyomi Reverse. So I think it opens up like this. I don't think it matters. Okay, let's open it like this. Hello? Oh, wow. I think this... <laughs> she's nude, but they kind of took off the nipple there. Interesting. I wonder if they do that on the anime too. So yeah, I think this is the end. Yeah, it definitely looks like the finale. Someone's getting married. It's bringing back all the characters. Her again. We didn't see her from the first season. So that's, oh wait, sorry. So this is just one. All right, so I guess I don't need to open it. Um, so yeah, that was the complete Monogatari series. I now have them all and I'm excited to watch them. So uh, if you guys, let me know what you guys think about this series. I know a lot of people love it. So I think I mentioned it already, but let me know what your favorite part is, whether the first season, second season, or this last part. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.